What the? Roxy, what are you doing? Eh. Nothing. What were you doing? And why didn't you just use the front door? Because it's cooler. And I forgot we had a front door. How do you forget we have a front door? Well, it's not like we ever use it. Okay, well, fair point. But... Wait. Is that a skull? <coughs> yeah! Uh... Is that... Real? No... Unfortunately not... I think... Wait, you think? Is, is it real or not? Uh No? <sighs> so it's a yes? No? Breaking news! So, um... Uh... We have news... Uh, wh what was it? Oh! Good. <clears throat> so, um, a haunted house attraction was set on fire. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay, sorry. <clears throat> um, this is a, another case of an arsonist, which is a very common thing in this area. It is suspected to be the same arsonist who burnt down the other buildings and stuff. Uh, do we have like an interview with the owner or something? No? He has a message? Oh, okay. The owner says fuck you. Uh, anyway, that's all the news for today. Um... Joe, on to the weather! Well, as you can see, it is a very bad thunderstorm outside. Lots of rain and- And Todd, with the traffic report. Traffic. Well, thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm sure next time we'll have news. Maybe. Foxy, did you do it? I don't like that every time there's a fire, you think it was me. But yes, I did do it. So that skull, you stole it from the horror attraction? Yeah! Well, I, actually, I bought it off, like, a guy who was outside the horror attraction whilst I was leaving. <clears throat> <sighs> who did you buy it off of? Well, I bought it off of, uh, Mr. R. Analdo. Wait. Why? Are you really that dumb? I'm not dumb. I'm just, um... Uh, easily influenced. Get rid of the skull. But it, it will be fine this time. What? When has it ever been fine? It's gonna come to life, like always, and try and kill us. But it'll be different this time. No, it won't. But get rid of it. Fine. Get rid of it. Why are you going to the window? To go bring it back. You could just use the front door. When you come back, use the front door. Fine. <sighs> Ugh. Why can't I just have a normal day? <sighs> what the hell was that? Roxy, are you okay? <sighs> yeah. What's going on? Roxy, I told you to get rid of that thing. Well, I was going to, but then I thought I would keep it, and you know, because I, I wanted it, and you, you know. Why can't you just listen to me once? Well, you know, uh. Hey! <laughs> who, who, who might you be? Who dares disturb my rest? Oh, that would be us. Roxy, not helping. Uh, uh okay. So, uh, who, who might you be? I am the spirit of the Skullabone. Skullabone's a stupid name. And why are you pink? That's a bit girly, isn't it? Silence, mortal!
for these slights against me, you will die. Can we talk about this? No! Damn it, Roxy. Sorry. That doesn't cut it. We'll talk about it later. So, uh, what do we do now? We... Run! Um. <laughs> Deep as of the spectral. Get them! <laughs> you had to keep it, Rox. I thought we were going to talk about this later. You can't run from me. Spirits, open the door. No. What's that sound? <sighs> Shit. I don't think I'd activate this quickly. <laughs> so, what should I do? No, 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 stop! Could you help? Um, so how? Uh, just... No! Uh! Terence, are you okay? I'm doing great. Was that sarcastic? No, not at all. Oh, cool. Anyway, so what should we do about that? Mortals! <laughs> Damn it. Shit, I need a weapon. I don't have my gun. Oh, fuck. Fine. You shall perish. What does perish mean? Ow! Uh, Roxy! Uh, I'm fine. Oh, shit. All Roxy, get up! Get up, Roxy! Uh, 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 what? What? Oh, what the hell? Ah! Huh? Ah! Ah! What, what the? Ah! Rogue agent? Eh. Hey, I'm up now. Ugh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Damn it. R Rogue agent? What? Why the hell have you been? It's a long story. Rogue agent, do you have a plan? No. Oh, that's great. Wait. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> What the hell just happened? It happened again. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? I need to talk to you about something. Okay. Take a seat, and I'll tell you everything. Okay? Okay. Okay. Well, let's start from the beginning. You see, I told you about the anomaly that I was researching, and that it's here. Well, it's in the closet. Wait. You mean that closet? Yes. The anomaly is housed within the closet. Okay. And? And you have been receiving these items. Yeah. Well, I have found out that these items are anomalous in nature and are being drawn to the closet. And the anomaly is growing because of it. Well, that doesn't sound good. That's because it isn't. Okay, well that's terrifying, but that doesn't exactly explain what happened just now. Well, you see, the anomaly grows every time the items get close to it and activate. That has become a problem now that is becoming unstable. Something... dangerous. It's acting as a gateway to other worlds other universes, and it's sending items there. The anomalous ones? Obviously. Wait, does that mean that just one day we can get zap and we're gone? 
like, to another world. No. It only seems to be anomalies that are getting transported at the moment. Okay, so what does this all mean? This means that my research has to speed up. But do not threat, because I promise you, I vow, that this will be over soon. And you can go back to living your normal lives. Well, now that we sorted that, Terence, do you want to go and watch a movie? No, Roxy! I'm not watching a film with you. I actually don't want to talk to you at all at the moment. Your goss is almost killed again. You make the same mistake again. How many times do I have to tell you, stop buying things from people with names similar to Ronaldo? Every time you make the same mistake. I'll talk to you about it later, but not now. Ter Terrence, wait! <sighs> what, Roxy? I'm... I I'm sorry. Sorry won't cut it this time. <sighs> T T Terrence? Ah! Ah! R Rogue agent, are, are you okay? <coughs> I'm I'm fine. <coughs> it's just everything still hurts after the fight. Sh should we do anything? No, no. I don't need any help. I just need to uh, to be alone. <sighs> oh, okay. <sighs> Terence, please don't go. T Terence. <sighs> no. What? Who are you? I... I'm a friend. What's your name? You can call me Molten Fox. And I have a proposal for you. What kind of proposal? Revenge. Why should I work with you? Because... We have... A common enemy. Who? The Omniversal Protection Agency. 